In this video, we're going to look at some examples of inverse variation. So in the first one, I'm told if x equals 4 when y equals 16 and y varies inversely as x, find x when y equals 3. So it's going to be very similar to how we dealt with direct variation with our setup. If you look at the first part of this sentence, it gives you two separate pieces of information. The first part it tells you is what type of variation it is, and it's an inverse variation. And so that tells me y equals k over x is the formula we're going to be using. And the first part of the sentence also tells me what my x and my y values are. So I will know y, I know x, I can solve for k. So I get 16 equals k over x, which is 4. So to solve this, I would multiply both sides by 4. And 16 times 4 is 64. So my constant of variation is 64. Then what I'm going to do is use the second half, find x when y equals 3. I'm going to write y equals k over x. I now know my constant of variation of 64. We want to find x, so we don't know x, when y is 3. So to solve this, I'm going to cross multiply. 3 times x is 3x. 64 times 1 is 64. And so if I solve here, I would divide both sides by 3 and get 64 thirds. And that is my value for x. And so let's take a look at number 2 for this. If x equals 5, when y equals 3, and y varies inversely as x, find y when x equals 2.25. So here we go. We know it's an inverse variation. So y equals k over x. You know y is 3. You know x is 5. So to solve for k, I would multiply by 5. So k is 15. And then I use the second part, find y when x equals 2.25. So y equals k over x. We now know our constant of variation is 15. I know my x is 2.25. I want to find y. And so what I'm going to do is take 15 divided by 2.25. And that is going to give me 20 thirds. And so that is my value for y. And so when it goes to inverse variation, we take a look at the relationship between the variables. We use the first half, we're given x and y to find our k. And then we apply that k to the second half when we're trying to find a value of an unknown variable.